once again, Sam has to make an effort to get up. This time, he has to focus on his spine. Hello everybody, Chad O'Brien here for Kaiju Pop, and we're taking a look at Manual Samuel. Uh, this is a game by a Norwegian developer named uh, Perfectly Paranormal, and there's a lot of talking, so I'm gonna I'm gonna minimize that as much as possible. Um, and uh, so what we have here is uh, basically this is kind of like if you had a quap like the the very minute details of co-op mixed with uh trying for the uh the the fun factor of like octodad or something like that so um what you've got here manual samuel uh, every button uh or i'm sorry every limb be it your legs or your arms is controlled by uh a, a button whether it's uh the shoulder button well they're all the shoulder buttons they're triggers um, but, uh, you can see here every foot, every step has to be a different button. Your arms are different buttons. You have to press all kinds of different buttons to press your teeth or brush your teeth. And, uh, there my eyes were getting kind of blurry. So I had to blink. Um, you have to control more than just your limbs. You do have to control your blinking, your spine here. It will randomly collapse. Um, and, uh, yeah, right here I'm trying to pee into the toilet and not doing so well at it. Uh, especially, yeah, while death is trying to talk to me. Um, here apparently my eyes are super red, but I couldn't even tell because I can't see my eyes at the moment. But, uh, yeah, so right now we're just trying to do my daily routine. Get myself cleaned up, brush my teeth, spine just broke again. Uh, so the story is that basically you just died and you made a deal with death that if you could get through 24 hours, he'll restore you to basically full health. Um, but everything has to be manual at this point. So, uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's blinking. You have to breathe as well, Both you have to breathe both in and out, um, and yeah, you just have to manipulate a whole bunch of different things going on here. I'm trying to take myself a shower. And again, your spine will just collapse randomly. Uh, so while walking around, uh, you also have to be prepared to like keep up a rhythm. Because um, if you, if you, for example, if you move your left foot and then try to move your left foot again, basically you fall down and do the splits. And you, and, um, you'll just keep bouncing around if you try to move the left leg again. Uh, you can see my face is getting all red. That's uh, me forgetting how to breathe. And um, yeah, the uh, it's not too good. I need to breathe out. But I, I, I did too much breathing out. So uh, there, there's a whole lot of balancing going on. And uh, yeah, so... I haven't had any real thing where basically you just die yet, uh, but um, there you go. I'm looking a lot better now. I'm all showered up. I'm squeaky clean. And uh, that means I can get on with my day. Although I don't I don't know what I'm doing to, to really slow down the progress here. I'm watching everything, but uh, it doesn't seem to be going up. Um, but... It eventually gets there, so uh, trust me, or just watch for a little bit more. Um, just happen everything <laughs> at this point. I don't know. Uh, there you go. I'm clean as a whistle. I think the breathing is the hardest part because it's kind of hard to figure out how to um, really control it that well. Sometimes you breathe in too much, sometimes you breathe out too much. Um, and yeah, you want to get that nice white faced balance. Um, and anyway, we're going to skip ahead to another section while I flop around here. Uh, we're going to skip ahead to where death teaches you how to drive a stick. So here we're in a new section. This is like a front facing kind of camera thing. Um, At this 
point, Sam notices that Death isn't really a nice guy. That's right. Death is not a nice guy, nor is he very interesting. He's got all this, you know, very, very old hip-hop lingo that no one uses anymore. And I understand that's the point, but, ooh, uh, it just comes off as so annoying here. Especially when, um, later on, as you're going down the stage, like, there will be interruptions, and he will stop talking, and then you'll deal with the obstruction, and he'll repeat a line that he just said. Uh, it doesn't matter if it was like a very long line, he'll just repeat the entire thing. But uh, yeah, so now there's some more stuff added in here. You don't have to walk anymore, but you do have to move your feet and press the right pedal and everything like that. So uh, learning how to brake, and it is a manual, so you have to learn how to clutch and then drive, release the clutch. Um, and to move the gear, you gotta move your hand over to the gear lever and then press the clutch and move the gear lever and yeah, it's all kinds of uh, craziness going on and uh, it's it's silly, of course, but uh, I, I, I made a comparison to Octodad earlier and where Octodad is just fun because it lets you be free and do all sorts of crazy crap, like this is, it's much more directed, and that kind of takes away part of the fun, because, yeah, it's it's silly that, like, your spine just randomly breaks, and you're creaking around, and, uh, you know, having to breathe, and apparently passing out at various points, but also, like, you do have to get to these goals, and it's a very complicated process. You have to keep pressing L1, or, or I'm sorry, L2, R2, L2, R2, and then uh, square, circle, square, circle to breathe, XXX to blink, and it just gets very, very tedious um, just to do, like, the smallest things. So, like, here I'm trying to drive, but, you know, I'm still having to do all these different blinking things, and now I'm running out of breath. So, there you go, breathe in again. So Death says he'll stop the car if he sees, um, uh, if you're about to hit someone, but then you have to start all over again. So I really, really don't want to have to do that. Um, I will say that, like, visually, the game's not that impressive, but it's it's got moments It kind of looks like, uh, I don't know, something you might see in, like, 90s Cartoon Network style, or like a, kind of like a Ren and Stimpy style art design um not sure what you'd call that really just uh uh kind of i don't know just uh it, it's it's interesting i i i can kind of dig that but uh the the characters themselves are just uh uh very terrible um and they think it's funny to do things like holy feces instead of holy shit and uh it's it just Everything is overused. So there we go. He's just repeating his lines now. See, there you go. Okay, that that entire line has to be repeated, and it, and at that point, it's kind of like that's because of poor level design. Because if I was driving this car really fast, and I'm only on gear 2, I, I guess I could go to gear 3 and 4, um, if I was driving really fast, he'd be repeating those lines all over the place, because I would have to keep going left and right and left and right, like I will here, um, when all these grandmas appear. Uh, and I also don't like that, you know, you can't even see, like, what's coming up. He says, like, oh, look, it's dangerous, but... There's no indication, no little flashing buzzer on the bottom, and so uh, you just have to listen to death, and there's like no real time to react. It's, it's, I don't know, it's, um, it's tedious all over the place is the thing. So, uh, that is really just going to be our, our quick look. 
Uh, like I said, this is Manual Samuel. Uh, we'll have a review of it in a few days. Uh, go ahead and check out that and check out our website for other news and information on other games uh, and, uh, and things like that. You can go on over to kaijupop.com. Follow us on Twitter at kaijupop. Uh, like and subscribe to our videos and uh, enjoy yourselves, guys. Have a good day. Surprise and Sam's relief. The gang members are lying dead on the ground.